Hello everyone, today I am going to be filming my yearly everyday makeup routine whilst answering questions I've avoided. I seem to do these together every single year, so it's about time. I did my 2021 one, 2021 one. I feel like this will be an interesting one. Well, it's not gonna be that interesting. It's literally just me doing my makeup. But I feel like it will be a slightly more interesting one because my makeup routine has changed so much in the past year. Like this is gonna be so different to how I did it in my last year's one. So I feel like it'll be kind of interesting to see how I've changed my face. Um, and yeah, I've asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram. I'm just gonna scroll through them and answer some whilst I'm doing my makeup. I hope you enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up. Why are you giving it a thumbs up? I don't know, but just give it one if you want to. Enjoy. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with foundation. This is, my nails are so long, I can tap on things really nicely again, and I can't stop tapping on things. I'm sorry. I need to not do it because it really annoys some people, but oh, they're so long. Um, I'm gonna start off with my foundation. This is the, what is it again? Oh, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I tested this in a video and it's become my go-to foundation. I really, really like it. I use the one in the shade too neutral and then this hasn't changed i still use my real technique sponge um this is a brand new one one of the most common questions i'm seeing is just people asking how i am um i've got one here saying how are you doing like really um so i thought i'd let you know how i'm doing i'm doing okay <laughs> i'm all right um oh that's really boring wasn't it like yeah i'm all right that's it i mean i did have a little bit of a wobbly week last week a wobbly week i don't really know what happened but i was just randomly really tearful i don't know why i was just crying and just a bit anxious and a bit weird but as a whole i'm doing pretty well this year so far has been pretty good i've been pretty happy um yeah i hope you guys are all doing okay as well i will need to bronze my neck up a little bit but i'll do that in a sec um, um, but yeah, that's my foundation done. Quite a lot of people asking if I like my new hair. Do I like my hair now? I really like my new hair. Like I'm so happy with it. Right now it doesn't really look like much because I've just got it tied back and scraped back. But um, I feel like at the end of the video, I'll probably curl it and style it and zhuzh it up and do all that. But yeah, I really, really like it. I'm loving the half brown, half blonde thing. I think it's really cute. Oh, we could have a little bit over here. Mm, no, nah, that looks weird. Um, but yeah, I'll do my hair at the end of the video. I've just seen a question that's made me full on be like, huh? I'm so confused. I want to answer it but i think i'm gonna answer it in a bit when i get to a certain point in my makeup because i feel like it just links with it i'll get to it in a minute but i'm like what anyway <laughs> next question first of all i'm gonna do my concealer i have been using this revolution eye bright illuminating under eye concealer just give it a little twist someone said do you work much a week no shade but i'm curious how you fill your time i guess that's a good question because it probably seems like i don't really do much and i'm not gonna lie i don't really do a huge amount so <laughs> I do have it quite easy, but just to give you an idea of how I do my week. So on Monday, I'll normally film my YouTube video. Now that I've started doing a video every Wednesday, I'll probably film it on Monday. Sometimes I'll also film it on Tuesday as well. If it's a video that kind of needs two separate filming days, like sometimes they do. It kind of depends what it is. Tuesday evening, I also stream. Wednesday is the day that I'll get it edited, get the video done, uploaded, make the thumbnail. That takes all day. And then once it's uploaded, I'll probably spend the evening replying to comments. Uh, Thursday, I don't really do too much in the day, but I stream in the evenings. Friday is a day that I kind of do bits around the house. I need to blend my concealer. <laughs> I kind of do bits around the house, clean the house, do the washing, you know, all the boring stuff. And I'll also make sure I've got the next week's video planned if I've got like a particular idea. Uh, Saturday, I don't really do anything. I'll just stay off my phone as much as I can. It's like my day off the internet day. And then Sunday, I stream. So that's kind of how it works. Most days I have something to do but it's not like a full day's work there are some days where it's just the evenings some days where it's like a few hours so i do know i have it very easy but yeah that's like a rough idea of how my week goes this next question makes me kind of sad because i feel like i'm not actually that bad these days but someone said why do you always have an excuse about uploading no hate but it is literally your job I mean, I feel like I never really have excuses anymore. For a really long time, I didn't have an upload schedule. I just did uploads whenever. So I never had to make excuses because I never had a set day. Like no one was expecting anything. And then in April, I started uploading once a week again, uploading every Wednesday. And I stuck at it for, I think like seven or eight weeks. And then last week, I just, I like missed one week because I explained on my Instagram, I had a wobbly week. I was just crying a lot and I couldn't make a decent video like that. I 
tried, but it just wasn't working. So I was like, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave this week. So yeah, I feel a bit sad that they've said that because I don't really make excuses anymore. I did it once recently and it was for a reason that I couldn't really help. But apart from that, I stuck at it quite well and I'm back this week. I'm back on the, well, hopefully it's Wednesday when this goes up. And then they've also said no hate, but it is literally your job. And I kind I get what they mean, but also it's kind of different to a standard job because I am my own boss. I can sort of work whenever I want. I don't have anyone expecting anything of me. No one's relying on me. Um, I, I can kind of do what I want. I could upload every year if I wanted, like once a year. It wouldn't be the best idea, but I could do if I wanted because it's my little business that I'm running and I can kind of do ha what I want with it. I've always, well, I haven't always said, because back in the day, I literally would upload any old crap. But over the past few years, I've always said that I would rather not upload and not make as much money that week than upload a video that I don't like and make some money out of it. I can't stand the idea of uploading a video on my channel that I hate. So I'm very fussy with it and that's why maybe I don't upload as much as others. I'm now gonna move on to powder because oh my goodness, I am boiling. I think you can tell by my face. I'm gonna take my, not that powder is gonna cool me down, but it's gonna make me look less sweaty. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm sure you could guess this is one thing that has not changed at all. I don't think it ever will. Someone said, what's your personality type? Okay, apparently someone who loses their voice all the time. Um, I actually did the little test the other day um, and Alex did it as well. So I'm gonna, I can't remember what it was, but I did take a screenshot, so I'll tell you guys. So I got ISFJT. I'll put it on the screen. That's the one that I got. And then Alex got ISTPT. I, I don't know, I mean, I read about it. I might have just dropped my phone. I read what it said afterwards and to be fair, I think it did kind of fit my personality and Alex's did fit his a little bit. Um, but yeah, if anyone else has the same personality type, if you've taken the quiz, um, let me know in the comments if you're a me or if you're an Alex or if you're neither. <laughs> So for bronzer, I use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This one is in the shade bronzer? Surely not. <laughs> okay, I don't know what shade it is, but I'm gonna take a bit of this and do a little bit of bronzer. Someone said, are you still close with Soph and Jazz? I would say so. We haven't seen each other in so freaking long now. It's actually a little bit of a joke. It's not really our fault. Like, it's not like we've chosen to not see each other. Um, So I would say we're still, we're still just as close. Like, even if we haven't seen each other for like a year and eight months, I think I worked out it was. A year and eight months. I'm not one of those people that needs to see people all the time and talk to them all the time to class them as my close friends so yeah I would still class them as my close pals very excited to see them I feel like when I see them and we're reunited I'm probably gonna cry like honestly I feel like I'm honestly gonna cry of happiness because it's just been so long this is the question that I saw before and I said I'm gonna save it for this point in the video the one that I was genuinely like huh someone left a question saying why are you keeping your nose job a secret babes does this look like I've had a nose job? <laughs> I think, and this is the only thing that I can think of, is that I have recently started doing nose contour. Like that's one of the big things that I've changed in my makeup routine. Um, so I can only think that's what's making it look like I've had a nose job. What is that? But yeah, this person's literally said, why are you keeping your nose job a secret? They haven't said, have you had a nose job? No, no, no. They're just assuming that I definitely have had one and that I'm keeping it a secret. Like, I <laughs> Surely you can tell right now without any contour on, this is the same nose that I have always had. Unfortunately, it's still the same. If I go to the side, we've still got the dent in it. So yeah, you will be the first to know. Well, maybe not the first to know, <laughs> but you will be told if I ever get my nose done. Yeah, I thought that was a bit of a weird one, but it leads on quite nicely to me showing you how I now contour my nose. So yeah, I just get a little bit of bronzer and I basically go down like this. At first it looks a little bit crazy. I do blend it out. Same again on the other side. So it's kind of just on the end of my nose. And then I basically put an absolute crap ton under my nose. And then just gonna dab it out with my sponge. I'm not done yet though. There is one vital step that I do at the end. Um, but first of all, I just dab this out so it doesn't look so crazy then I take a little brush like this and I get a little bit more bronzer and I basically just go over the tip of my nose like this can you guys see I kind of do like a band over my nose like that and then obviously I blend it out and then on a little brush like this I take a bit of highlighter I'll show you which highlighter I'm using when I get to that bit but right now I'm just gonna put a tiny little dot of highlighter on this part of my nose and then all of that together kind of gives off the impression that my nose is a little bit more upturned and a little bit smaller 
I'm just sitting here flicking through questions and I've now found one that says, have you had filler slash surgery recently? You look different. Okay, am I really missing something here? Because to me, I don't look any different to how I used to. But now that's the second one. Um, and yeah, again, the answer is no. I've not had anything done to my face. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm now gonna move on to my favorite part of my entire makeup routine. Oh, well, I like highlighter, but blush is probably my absolute favorite. And this is another thing that I've recently started doing completely different. Some people absolutely hate it, but some people say it looks good. I really love it. So no matter what people say, I'm sticking with this new blush thing for the rest of my life. But the product that I'm gonna use is the Sailor Moon X ColourPop Blush. This one is in the shade From the Moon. It's so cute. And then inside it looks like this. It's a very like bright pink. And then as for how I apply it now, I basically squeeze my brush and just go across my cheek. So instead of like going here, I just go like across my face. Sometimes I go over my nose as well, but I just sort of do like a line over my face and I just really like it. I, I apparently it's supposed to make a long face look shorter and I feel like I have kind of got a long face. So whilst to do it, I'm going to pick another question. Oh, someone said, do you prefer YouTube or Twitch? It's a bit of a tricky one when I'm on YouTube right now. I've answered it on Twitch before and I've said Twitch. Shall I say YouTube when I'm on YouTube? <laughs> no, um, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I feel like YouTube is like my baby. It's like my child. I really care about my channel and that's why I'm so fussy with what I upload on it. Um, It's like my little child. I really love it and care about it. It's something that I've built up over years and years and years. So I love my YouTube channel more, but I enjoy Twitch more. Like I've really been enjoying it. I think it's just because it's something new, something different. Um, I really like how interactive it is. I like that I can just chat to you guys. Like right now, I'm just talking to a camera it's just me and a camera but on twitch i've got you guys talking back to me and i just really love that it's so much fun i i think that's the best way of me answering it i mean this one also kind of ties in someone said do you make more money on twitch than youtube no <laughs> I think I make like a fraction of the amount of money on Twitch than I do on YouTube. My Twitch channel is a lot smaller than my YouTube. So yeah, I make a lot more money on YouTube than I do on Twitch, which is ironic because I spend three days a week, not three days a week, three evenings a week on Twitch and I upload on YouTube once a week. Okay, I think that is my blush done. I think I've blended it out enough. Um, I'm now gonna move on to highlighter. Da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 da. You might have seen, if, if, talking of Twitch, if any of you guys follow me on Twitch, I did a makeup stream. When was it? Was it last week? I think it was last week. And I basically tested Soph's New Revolution collection live on stream. It was really fun. It was really cute. Soph was in the chat. But since I tested it, it has become my new go-to highlighter. Um, So this is from the Sugar Frosting highlighter. Qu no, not a quad. Highlighter duo. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I think this is the lightest duo out of the three. Um, and I take this shade here. Are you guys ready? Look at that. Look at that. It is such a nice highlighter. Oh, where's it gone? Here it is. I'm actually obsessed. It's so freaking nice. It's become my new favorite and I feel like, oh, Oh, so yeah, that is my highlighter done. Let's answer another question. I need a, I need a drink break. I'm sweating. Are you and Alex looking at moving house again anytime soon? Uh, I don't think so. No. How long have we been here now? We've been in this house for three years. Oh my God, it's officially been three years that we've lived here. Um, and no, I don't think we're thinking of moving anytime soon. Probably in the future we will at some point, but at the moment, we're staying here. <laughs> so many people saying, when are you bringing out a collab with a brand? Probably never. Like, <laughs> have you seen me? I'm a bit irrelevant these days. I don't think anyone's gonna wanna do that. Um, yeah, probably never. At this point, I don't think it will ever happen. I just can't see any brands picking me over all of the other amazing people on the internet. But you know what, we'll never say never. Maybe one day I'll be like, hmm, I've got a secret thing, but I doubt it. Like at this point, I really doubt it. <laughs> and I'm okay with that, you know? So my eyebrows are another thing that's definitely changed. And again, some people hate them some people say they look really good i like them like this i like the straight eyebrow look so i'm a i'm gonna keep doing it um i basically start off oh yeah i do it in a different order as well now i start off with a bit of tinted brow gel this is the glossier boy brow in the shade oh i think it's just in the shade brown and i basically just start off with a bit of this so yeah once i've done a bit of brow gel i take my Sorry, what are you? Precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. This one is in the shade 3.5. And I basically just fill in like along the bottom to kind of do the shape. Oh, someone said, what job will you do if YouTube stops? 
I mean, <laughs> I don't really know, mate. I don't really know. I feel like, oh, I don't know. I would say like if my Twitch was to take off, I would love to do that as my job because I really, really enjoy it. Um, But I don't think that will ever happen. I think it's really hard to grow on there. But yeah, I would love to do that. But I think that's probably very unlikely to happen. So I don't really know. I should probably start thinking about it, shouldn't I? I guess I'd invest my money into something and start something but I don't know what. Okay, I am back. I took a minute to do my eyebrows. I realized if I was talking whilst doing my brows, I was most definitely gonna mess them up. So I just put all my focus into the brows. They still look a bit sh but they'll do. As always, I'm sure you can guess what one of the most common questions is. <sighs> Are you having a baby? Are you pregnant? Do you want to get pregnancy? <laughs> I know people are just interested. Um, and the answer is no. I've got one here that says, do you want to get pregnant anytime soon? Not anytime soon still, like maybe in the future. I feel like I always say that, but it's still the same answer for now. Not anytime soon. I'm now going to move on to eyeliner because I've recently started doing eyeliner again. And I feel like I've finally found a way to kind of make it work with my hooded eyes. Um, it'll probably go wrong today because I'm filming it, but I'm going to try my best. Um, I use the Lottie London stamp liner it basically has like a moon stamp on one end and a pen on the other so I'm just gonna take the pen end <sighs> okay <laughs> That's a good start. But I basically start it much lower down. Like it's probably just better if I show you. Do you see, I start it under my eye, which might sound a bit weird, but I start it under my eye and then I kind of just go across here. So this is what it looks like. It just kind of like sticks out the bottom so it doesn't get into the hooded bit. If that makes sense, um, I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've tried to match them. They do not match, but what's new? I don't think they're exactly the same. They don't look the best but I feel like once you add mascara and stuff it tends to look a bit better. Um, the only other thing I do with eyeliner now is I draw on some bottom eyelashes which sounds a bit weird but I basically do little lines coming out of here a little bit like that. I normally do them more like slanted outwards. I don't know why I've done them so downwards today but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, it looks a bit weird right now but again once I've done my mascara it all kind of blends in together. That's how I went so much better. I, yeah. So I'm now gonna do my mascara i use the maybelline last lash lash sensational sky high mascara someone's literally asked when is the wedding do you know something i don't because i mean <laughs> i feel like before we have a wedding we kind of need to get engaged and we're not engaged yet yeah at the moment there's no wedding day booked because we are not getting married at the moment one day for sure yeah i'm sure we will be but right now i do not know i couldn't tell you <laughs> this one kind of links on from it someone's asked if alex were to propose tomorrow what would be your ideal engagement ring hmm i actually know this i don't know why i'm humming i know this i really like something a little bit different i don't think i'd want like a standard diamond ring i've told him to get something cheap like don't spend too much money on it i ain't fussed and they do these really nice rings with moonstones on them i know that's really typical of me but moonstones are so pretty and I feel like it's just a bit more me and something I would actually want to wear so I've told him I really like these you know if you ever want to get an engagement ring go for something like that and I think it's something I would prefer <sighs> so I might have done a bit of an oopsie I stopped my camera whilst I was doing my mascara because I knew it would take me a while so I just paused the recording I then continued filming the rest of the video without pressing record so I've just done my lips without recording it luckily that's all I've done I mean that is the rest of my makeup though and you've missed it <sighs> I'm annoyed. I almost had a cry, but I haven't. We're gonna hold it together. It is fine. All I did was I used Soph's new Revolution lip liner. This is the candy icing shade, I think. Um, so I lined my lips with this. And then I mentioned that sometimes I use the lip balm to go with it, but sometimes I also use a proper lipstick. So today I used a lipstick. I used Max Velvet Teddy. I've recently been using this again. I found it in the back of my collection and I've been using it. Um, so yeah, that is all you missed. There's one here that literally says are you upset about your youtube channel dying <laughs> well i am now <laughs> i mean i wouldn't say it's dying it's definitely declining a little bit but i wouldn't say it's dying like a lot of my videos still do all right maybe they don't get as many views as they used to but a lot of them still get like over a hundred thousand views i wouldn't say that's a dead channel that's still all right mate to be fair i do sometimes joke on stream that my channel is dying but i don't actually mean it i don't think it's dying i think it is just declining a little bit it kind of started doing that when i uploaded my video at the start of the year saying that i was going to start streaming on twitch 
which like as soon as I upload that video I lost so many subscribers yeah I, I wouldn't say I'm upset about it I'm really grateful that my channel has lasted as long as it has I've been making videos now for nearly seven years so I'm surprised it didn't die sooner right I'm gonna quickly go and do my hair so we can get the finished look I'll be back in a sec okay I've just gone and done my hair I didn't realize how dark it's gotten it is literally pitch black outside so I feel like throughout the video it was probably just getting darker and darker in the background I am now all ready this is my finished look I think I'm gonna answer one more question to end okay this one's come up a lot so I'm gonna end on this one a lot of people have said are you quitting YouTube soon I mean I'm not gonna lie I've definitely considered it I feel like I don't know I felt like maybe I'm just not cut out for it anymore because I'm struggling so much all the time with video ideas not knowing how I want to take my channel what I want to do with it um so I have definitely considered that maybe I'm just not cut out for this anymore and I should probably just leave but then I always think to myself I just can't let it go like I said earlier my channel is like my child I've had it for nearly seven years now or maybe it's over seven years now and I just couldn't let it go it would make me so upset I'm trying to still keep it going as best I can because I'd be so sad to let it go but yeah I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about quitting just because I just don't know what I'm doing with it anymore like, I don't know what direction to take it I don't know what videos I want to make I don't know what videos you guys want to see um I mean one day I'll have to I'm not gonna be doing this when I'm 80 um one day I'll have to but for now I'm not gonna quit I'm gonna keep going as best I can and hopefully I don't run out of video ideas and hopefully my channel doesn't die the end that's the end of the story anyway i'm gonna go now i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you like my makeup i don't know if it went well did it go well i think it went okay um i think it's definitely improved since like previous everyday makeup videos i think so i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you did and i will hopefully see you next week hopefully <laughs> bye